Hi friends, I'm recording this video because it's very important. Uh, about 11 months ago, I gave a prophecy in Europe, in Poland, and uh, what God spoke through me at that time is everything that is happening right now. This mess, the people in panic and fear, everything I prophesied. I'm not saying this to make myself sound as a great prophet, not at all. But I'm telling you this because I have seen things in the spirit very clearly. I have recently prophesied that many churches are going to close down. Now they're all shut. I've seen many more things and many things are much worse than the coronavirus. But I've never spoken them with anybody. They're written down and they're just between me and God. But I want you to understand something. Three days ago, at the beginning of this week, I was praying and the Lord took me into the heavenly place and showed me very clear vision. I saw the coronavirus, millions and millions and millions of these little viruses. And these viruses, suddenly they were ridden by demons. It's like Demons were on top of those viruses and they were riding them like you would drive a car. This has nothing to do with God judging people. This is evil, this is awful, and this is from hell. And it's, it's, this is, it's demonic. It's not just a virus, a sickness, it's demonic. There are demons trying to really to attack humanity which God loves so deeply. But then I suddenly saw something else. I saw that these demons through these viruses had no power over the life of any Christians. The Bible says, a thousand fold to your side, 10,000 to your right, it can't come near you. It, it, it cannot touch you. Every Christian knows Psalms 91. But here is what I saw. These demons really, really wanted to enter into every single body of the people. So how was, they needed a new strategy. And then I saw these powerful principalities. They were not little demons like on the virus. These were like rulers over territories. And I saw these powerful demonic forces trying to find out a strategy how to enter into the lives of these people and how they wanted to find a way that these demons can go into the lives of these people. And then they came up with this strategy, fear. Fear equals faith. Why? You believe in the miracle, you believe what you, you will have what you believe. You believe the bad thing is going to happen to you. So through fear, now you also believe it. So these principalities had this strategy. Fear is the entrance that, no, fear is the way that we can open an entrance so that these demons can come in. So this principality said, why don't we use the media and the social media? Why don't we use the actual airwaves and the sound waves to find a way to open the doors into the lives of the people? So they did. Now, please listen to me. The fear of the coronavirus is the much bigger problem than the coronavirus. Look at the strategy. Those powerful principalities have taken control of the airwaves and the sound waves. What did they do? They controlled it. They spread the fear. Many Christians say it's wisdom. It's being sensible. It's fear. Fear. Fear has been spread through principalities using the media. So what happened? Christians have opened their hearts to fear. We Christians should have been prepared to be the answer to this problem. What happened? All around me, Christians act and talk like the rest of the world. Just like that, because they are blind. Please, my friends, let's wake up. We are the light to this world. Jesus walked right where the lepers were to heal the lepers. He didn't hide away because he was afraid to be contaminated. And he healed them. He was not afraid to be contaminated. It's for years the church has not walked in the authority that we should have walked in. And God has been speaking to me for about three years. Those who followed me well, they know this. For three years, this has been the message that God gave me. Prepare yourself, prepare yourself. The time to walk with Jesus is finished. It's time to run the race, not to walk. This is the message I've preached for three years. Jeremiah 12 verse five. If the people who walk with you have made you tired, how will you compete with the horses? I've preached this for years and now my heart breaks as I see that my voice has not been heard. Please, it's not about my voice. I don't live for myself. I don't want any credit for this, but I'm a prophetic voice to the nations. The things that I've said are happening one by one, but the church is not waking up. All this is all just the preparation for Christ to come back. Trust me, when I was in heaven, Jesus showed me he's about to come back. He's beyond the last minute. Get your heart aligned with the purpose of God. Don't be a person that is chasing everything this world has to offer. This is the moment for us to rise and to shine. Show that there is a God who loves us and Christ in us is the hope of glory. So what am I saying? Am I against wisdom? No, I'm against fear. Absolutely, I will not open my heart to fear. Am I saying uh, don't I'm use me. precaution? No, but I'm saying don't do anything by fear. May your eyes be open to see that behind this, what is happening through the media are principalities that are evil. 
So look at this vicious cycle. The people are quarantined now. They can't leave the house all over the world. What's happening? Yeah. In the houses, they spend endless hours watching the news. As they watch the news, even more fear enters their hearts. Matthew 24 says this, the heart of the people will fail Fail them because of fear. Fight. For fear, your heart will fail. Look at this demonic strategy. Let's lock the people into the houses. In the houses, they keep being addicted to the news. More news, more news, more news. The more news, the more fear there is in the heart, and the more they want to watch the news to see what's going to happen next. Listen, there's other news that you can listen to. Jesus, the King of Kings, is coming back. Arise and shine in the middle of darkness. The light has come. Fill your heart with that kind of news. The Lord told me many years ago, the devil, the devil loves nothing more. Last thing before the children of God go to bed is watch or listen to the news. I'm For years I'm saying, don't do that. Don't go to bed filling your mind with this. And the first thing you put up, let's see what's happening. No, don't be stuck in this vicious cycle. So am I against doctors? Never. Thank God for good doctors. But what happens? Now there are thousands of doctors affected. They're infected with the virus. The one we put our trust in is now the one that we can't, that can't help us. What happens? Put your trust in Jesus. Jesus saves. If you don't have assurance that you are saved, sins forgiven, and you're right with God, open your heart now and say with your own words, from your own mouth, God, I'm a sinner. I need salvation. I need my sins forgiven. I believe that Jesus died on the cross for my sin. I open my heart and I receive Jesus as my only savior. Turn to him. But all those who know that they are saved, trust me, there is something that is about to happen that's going to be much worse. But there's something that's going to be happened that's much better too. The greatest harvest of souls for Jesus Christ is about to happen. Let's be part of this. Everything is being shaken. But Jesus and those who trust in him can never be shaken. Let's continue to trust him. Live by faith. Close your heart to fear. Turn off the news. Turn it off. Like people say to me all the time, but Reinhard, we need to inform ourselves. How do you know where the influence comes from you, the news that you get? Listen, I knew about this mess 11 months ago before the news said one word. How about this? Get your news from the Holy Spirit. Say, Holy Spirit, you tell me what's going on in this world. You tell me. And here's the thing. When he tells you, there's no fear. You can pray powerfully and effective. Why can God tell you what's going on in this world? Children of God hear the voice of God. So I'm going like this. I'm saying, devil, I don't want to hear what you are spreading around the world. I'm going like this. Jesus, what do you say? And I want to join my Jesus. Let's go. Love you guys.